As we look forward here at what Michigan's working on, first, I, I think there's an opportunity for all organizations, whether it's our two associations, your association, other entities that are, that are not here today, to engage in this process. And I think that's, if I leave you with nothing else today, that, that's what I hope to leave you with, is that um, please make sure that you're active and at the table throughout this planning process so that we can have a successful program that benefits counties, benefits uh, the the uh, uh, incarcerated individuals so they can receive better health care both in uh, the correctional setting and post-release reduces recidivism and then ultimately benefits the state financially so that the program can continue right as, as we both noted earlier the the goal of this demonstration is to prove the concept um, in a way that it can be sustainable as we move forward um, there are some key goals that CMS has set out for this particular type of a demonstration program. Um, and those key goals, you have to include increased coordination and communication between folks in the correctional system. So that would be at county jails, at Department of Corrections, at the, Fed, at the state level, the Medicaid systems. So Bob's membership, my membership, the state of Michigan Medicaid program, uh, managed care entities, again, our memberships, and then community-based providers. So core to this goal, uh, core to this program is the goal that you're increasing care coordination. And I say that because um, I think there are some that think uh, in other states, for example, that, oh, well, you know, the state can get an 1115 program uh, waiver, demonstration waiver for this uh, population, and just simply keep doing what they've been doing, and it's just a different payer now covering the cost of care in those 60 days or 90 days pre-release, whatever the waiver uh, time frame is. Um, yes, that could be true, but that will not, in our opinion, that will not produce the overall outcomes. It won't meet the goals of what the federal government has laid out. And we would risk, if that's the proposal going forward, we would risk the potential of CMS saying no to the proposal in and of itself. So uh, care coordination, increasing communication and care coordination pre-release, a warm handoff during that re-entry is going to be critical of anything that we put forward here. And it's been critical in these other states that have moved a little further and faster down this path. Uh, another co core goal that needs to be included um, is increasing additional investments in healthcare aimed at improving the health of those individuals. So that might be um, access points external to the, to the uh, correctional setting. So when that member is released, making sure that they have uh, their needs met, knowing as, as we talk a little bit about what care coordination should look like or could look like, making sure that that warm handoff is happening. And if you have an individual that has uh, kidney disease and uh, mental health disorder that they need uh, co-treatment for, making sure that that care coordination plan, whatever is created in the, in the incarcerated setting, is then shared external with partners involved with managing the health of that individual once they're released so that there can be a setup to make sure that they have a psychiatrist or a therapist or uh, you know, a, a specific specialist for their physical health care needs that, that may be needed. Um, we already talked about one of the minimum requirements being a pharmacy fill pre-release. Um, making sure that that script is known to the provider that they're being connected with in the community, but making sure that there's resources being spent to have providers in those communities to connect the individual with uh, is, is critical here. And then ultimately, one of the other main goals here is, is really on how you're going to measure success. Um, CMS, in, in previous uh, waiver approvals for other states, has always looked at all-cause death, so in other words, What's the mortality rate of this population regardless of the reason of death? Um, Post-release, can we create improvements in all-cause death metric? Um, can we reduce emergency room, emergency department stays post-release? Um, and in, can we reduce inpatient hospitalization post-release um, through the use of routine, both physical and behavioral health services where, where need be? So those are kind of the, the core measurables that are out there. Um, for jails and for counties, I think a key part of, as we talk about care coordination, a key part to understand here and communication is um, where your system is at today. I'm not the expert on jails, that, that's not me, but I'm gonna guess that your jail doesn't have a very robust health uh, 
a portable health record um, for the individual, an EMR, an electronic medical record for that individual. If you do, I, I would question whether or not it's connected to external EMRs that exist in the community. Um, creating those connections, I, th I think, we think at the association is going to be critical for this program to succeed in Michigan. It's what other states are doing. They're using the waiver to have state investment in those infrastructure needs, in the IT needs. Um, so I would encourage this association, this organization here today, as you go home, start to assess where you're at today and what you feel you would need for that communication connection and care coordination connection to be as seamless as possible with Medicaid, with external stakeholders. With That means Medicaid health plans, that means community mental health uh, organizations, that means other providers in the community, hospital systems that are in the community. Uh, we have the opportunity to use the program, use the financing in this demonstration to finance these improvements. Um, and if we don't speak up, there's a, a worry, at least on my part, that that'll be a missed opportunity and a fumbled opportunity as we go forward where the care coordination um, and the communication will break down if we don't build those systems out the way that's needed.